Hey guys, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Today is a beautiful, beautiful day. Thanks for even stopping here to watch my channel, Simply Natural Black Life, where she does all things simple and she lives simple as possible. So guys, yeah, um, today is a great day, like I just said. And um, if this channel is something that you will want to continue to watch, then keep on watching. I have a few things I'm going to be doing today, a few things. We're going to tackle some garden stuff today and we're going to tackle some more. She's getting some rid of some more stuff today, y'all. Um, I will bring you guys along for that. And like I said, if you want to see, then hold the line, please. Okay. <music> Protecting yourself from the enemy. The devil is here. Y'all know he's real. He's here to kill, steal, and destroy. And he would do and use anything, any force, any tactics that he can to get into your mind to make you lose all control. So with me saying that is, guys, we have to protect ourselves. We have to set our minds right, set our um, our goals right, set our strengths right. And where we're trying to go in life right because if we don't we can get off track and that's what he wants he wants us to get off track i almost forgot y'all get your tea your coffee your orange juice your milk uh your smoothie water or whatever it is that you have in the morning and let's take a sip i forgot and i wanted to also say if no one's never told you that they love you i love you i love you with the love of christ because we have to love one another that is a must that we have to do that so take a sip so yes, guys, um, please guard your hearts, your minds, and your souls. Protect your energy. Uh, please protect your energy. Please consider the people who are around you. If they're not doing those things, uh, helping you protect your energy or even protecting their own energy, what is the point? They might not be good for you. Those people might not be good for you. You might have friends that are not good for you. Because they're not, not saying that you all have to do all the same things. Sorry, I'm looking at my neighbor. He's just walking. He loves cleaning up the neighborhood, which is a beautiful thing, which is a beautiful thing. But yeah, guys, um, just guard your hearts, your minds, and your soul. That's all I have to say today. And protect your energy because the enemy is here to steal, kill, and destroy. He will do it all means necessary through friends, family, co He'll do it through any ways necessary. Don't let him in. Don't give him room. Don't give him time. Keep yourself prayed up and keep your mind focused on what's right. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks for tuning in to Tea Time. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. I'm back. I just got through working out. I made myself work out. However, I did not feel like it, but y'all already know what I'm gonna say. It's free to get outside, it's free. Like, go run a track, go jog a track, go walk a track. Do some jumping jacks or do something. You can go outside on your yard and do it. Just get out, get some exercise. Um, we need all the air, pure air vacation that we can use right now because we're all being like masked up really, really all the time. Your lungs need to breathe. You need to put in some good oxygen and uh, drink you a lot of water. But get out here and get you some exercise. So that's just my little token to you guys. Don't take it, hey, don't take it uh, the wrong way. Because people be taking, people take good stuff. That's, now that's terrible. That, I'm going to say that. People, people take good stuff, good stuff that you're giving them and take it the wrong way. And make it seem like you're judging them. You think you're better than them. All because you might say, get out and get you some exercise. So I hope I'm not stepping on nobody's toes. But yeah, get out here and get some exercise. Like I said, it's my lunch break. I made myself go do it. I made myself. I did not feel like doing it, but I did. So I'll see you guys. Hold the line, please. 
Hi, beautiful you. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, so I brought you guys along. Let me check, put my other shoes on first. I bought y'all along because we're going to go ahead and um, grab this bag of dirt from outside. Y'all, it's cold here. It is so cold. It's like really, really pretty out here, but it's cold. Oh, I wanted to show y'all. Look, I think I got some. Look at this. I got some little blooms coming out, but I don't know if it's too soon because I got the same thing in here. I got one here. I don't know, y'all. We will see. But I came out here to bring in the bag of uh potting soil for the stuff because we're going to go ahead and pot the um the peppers today that's what we're doing today so yeah if you guys are interested hey stay tuned now why are we that dark okay come on sorry y'all but we got the dirt and we're going to go ahead on in the kitchen and we're going to pot our peppers today and then i'm going to um update you guys on some little things that i'm going to be doing here far as like purging some stuff not like what y'all thinking but we're gonna we are gonna purge some things today let me see how can i do this let's put this here and then i'm gonna set y'all i'll set y'all right here so here is our container metal container which is always cool we're gonna put that there let me get my cup of coffee because that's why I was able to, I think I told y'all I was going to, um, I think I told y'all I was going to do that once I finished with the coffee. So this is my second cup of coffee today. Okay, I don't even know if y'all can see me. Hold on. Yeah, this is my second cup of coffee today. I think it's because it's chilly outside. So we're going to go ahead on and I got to poke, we're going to take this screwdriver hammer and we're going to poke some holes in here like that that's all you're doing maybe three three drainage holes and you don't have to worry about cleaning out the container because if you guys don't know um you can use coffee grinds for fertilizer anyway so i'm probably gonna just add that into the dirt so let me find a spoon. Well, basically, I don't even need a spoon. Let me just do this. Turn this bag inside out like that. And I actually can just use the container itself and dig the dirt out of there. To put the dirt in there, rather. How y'all doing today? Are y'all planting some stuff? I think a couple of y'all told me that you were y'all were doing uh, gardens because of the what happened with the uh, pandemic and stuff not being able to get in stores or whatever so yeah I don't blame you because that's what that's really what I'm doing I was gonna do it anyway but that's another reason why too just grow your own for one you're gonna save some money y'all gonna just use one of my one of my stones I can always wash this out and it's wood anyway so don't y'all come for me okay y'all know she's a naturalist so this don't bother me it could be washed so this is all you're doing is just putting your dirt inside the um your little thing here like that. And like I said, I'm gonna take this coffee, grind what little bit we got, and we're gonna pour it in here. And that's it, guys. So let me go get my scissors so I can cut this open. It's really super easy. We make things hard, but things some things are really easy. So I'm just gonna take this and cut that off. Let's see what these seeds look like. Oh, wow, they're really little, y'all. Look. Can y'all see that little? Let me see. Can y'all see it now? Okay. So, like, just like yesterday, you're going to dig a little hole with your finger in the center, like I'm doing here, if you guys can see. And just going to add the seeds in there, just like that. And just cover it back up. Just cover the hole up, like that. Put some more dirt in there. And you got your own little container to grow your peppers. Y'all know I'm gonna show y'all as they um, as they grow and I harvest them. So that's it, y'all. That's all she wrote. So here is our pepper pepper mix because that's what I um that's what it's called here. So yeah, all I gotta do now is just find me a little stick and stick this in here. But for now, I'm just gonna set her like that outside. 
on the um on the deck. So I'll be right back, guys. Hey guys, so basically, I'm sorry, I'm showing something. Basically, what it is I'm doing, I'm just trying to eliminate the little things, the little knickknacks. I would call them small to me, and just go with a more big wow factor. So I'll just show you guys the same, the things that I have listed so far. I'll offer up again, and I have um took this out of my office. Very pretty candle um, lava. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm actually tired of it because it's it's small. It's beautiful, but it's small. So this is going to be going. I got these glasses here. They're very pretty. Um, I don't know if y'all remember when I bought these, but they're like silver metallic. They're pretty, and then they go clear. I posted this on there. Um, I posted. This candelabra on there because what I'm trying to do, like I said, is put bigger things in here. So once um, I remove this, either this one, either this one is going to go here with the sticks and then this one is going to go up here. And then on this side, I have a bowl that, that I'll show you guys because I got a bowl that has oranges in it right now. But once it's empty, I'm going to put the beads in there. So. This is the bowl that I will use. It's so pretty and I just love the texture of it. So that is my whole thing, y'all. And then the next thing I wanna do is put this chair, I don't know, I was thinking like put this in the bedroom um, until I can get another chair and then this, this area right here would just be open. So if y'all interested, we're gonna go see right quick how that's gonna look. All right guys, let's go ahead and put this chair over here and see how it looks and then y'all tell me what y'all think um i really love this linen chair look at that huh. oh my gosh y'all i don't know i like i can watch tv i can read this is really cute hold on i'm gonna show y'all so y'all tell me what do y'all think look at that look how beautiful that looks right there so y'all let me know in the comments is it a is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down I mean, and don't get me wrong. Like I said, if I find another chair like this, I will be wanting to put it in the, I will want to put both of them in the front room. So I think it's pretty. I think it turned out cute. So guys, I don't know what else I got going on. Oh, I wanted to show y'all this too. I did spray paint this vase here. Remember the um, the um, amber glass one that I got from Goodwill? I like it better white. It just brings out the dresser a little bit more. Yeah, just want it simple. So yeah, guys, um, let me know what y'all think. I know you will. And um, I'll see you probably in another clip or I don't know, y'all, we'll see. Or I'll see y'all tomorrow, okay? I don't know, so just hold the line, please, okay? Guys, I almost forgot to show y'all my new babies that are coming, like, I'm so excited, y'all. Oh my gosh, let me just turn this camera around and show you guys. So, remember I planted the Ansonii, the stems? Look at that, I have one here, I got one there, and if you come closer, you guys can see there is one right there. Like, I'm so excited. And then this is a, a piece of a, of a heart-shaped philodendria. I don't know if it's gonna, I kept it in there because I don't know. I'm gonna give it some more time, but the Anasona is growing. So that way, like, when I bought this mid-century modern milk glass planter, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. So once this grows a little bit more and gets some more roots, I'm going to be planting this baby. So, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that real quick before I forget. Mm -hmm.